Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Yes, I have red hair today because I've wanted to try like a ginger or red wig for so long because it's the prettiest and most beautiful hair color. Uh, shout out to all my, I was gonna say fellow redheads in the comments, but I don't really think I can claim that. But let me know what you think about the hair. I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's stopping the bejesus out of my eyes, but I love red hair, so yes. And today I have a strange little, little family here for you guys because we're gonna be trying out some toddler mods. The reason that I've kind of gone down this whole rabbit hole is I was linked by Adele here to this TikTok which showed off some toddler items in game. I actually tried these in the last Not So Berry episode. If you caught it, I tried the trampoline mod for children and for toddlers and I was really impressed with the animation and with the mod itself. And that trampoline mod, you may recognize this name here, Panda Summer. Do you guys remember if you're watching my Not So I've done a few births now with the realistic pregnancy mod, which lets you have a full on birth with dilations and epidurals and everything or a C-section as well. It's an incredible mod. It really has a lot of realism to the game. Sometimes too much because you can have a multiple day labor. But yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, then that was an amazing mod. And the mods I'm showing today are all by the same creator. So why don't we kick things off with the kids trampoline? Because uh, that's the one that I've already tried out. To help me demo this, I've actually used if you caught my same sims different skin details or same skin details but different styling video these are the sims from that video so we have our candy floss sim and our kind of like a edgy kind of rocky sort of sim here and since we're trying this on toddlers i went ahead and gave them toddlers can you guess by any chance whose is whose i thought i'd make them little mini versions of their parents so we've got little candy floss child here she's called molly she has candy floss hair and she looks just like her mom as well. And then we also have little Cyrus here who is also absolutely adorable. Has the tiniest ears I've ever seen. Basically they both just produce very, very adorable children. Let's face it. We're going to be using them with Carly and Carly to try out this toddler mod. So let's do the trampoline first. Now this trampoline comes in two flavors. And as with all of the mod videos I do, I will link all of these in the description below if you guys want to give them a go. Also with all the mods I'm showing today, whilst they are on Patreon, they are now free downloads. If you guys don't know you can have sims for mods and cc on patreon for a while as long as you eventually make it free this panda sama has definitely done that so these are all available for you guys to give a go and here are the two flavors so we've got protection one with the net and we've also got smaller one here which is probably going to be a little bit easier to place inside the house they also come in a bunch of color variations as well which is very cute i'm going to go for this multicolored one for the smaller one and then let's go for the pink one here as well in fact let's go yeah Let's, let's keep those colors. I'm going to use the pink one for the candy floss baby. This is why I knew that these mods were pretty good. So if I ask candy floss Molly to go ahead and play in this trampoline, she's going to toddle her cute little butt over. I'm going to get Cyrus to toddle his little cute butt over here. Oh, she's been distracted. She's distracted by getting a loving hug from her mum. Understandable. But I really want to try out the trampoline. Okay, she really took some encouraging, but eventually we got her inside. So she climbs through the little hole. The little animation is so cute. Like, look at that. The shadows and everything. Like, these are such well-made mods. They're not just a singular mod. They are, like, the whole animation that comes with it, too. And, like, kneeling to get on there. Let's get Cyrus to try his out, too. And one thing I noticed that with children who can also use these, with my sim that had really high movement skill, uh, my child that had high movement skill, he was able to, like, do backflips and front flips whilst he was on the trampoline as well. I'm not sure if you can do that from the start or if it's something that you can only do once you have high movement skill. But it's cool that the kids can use the exact same trampolines as the toddlers and it does contribute towards skill gain as well so here's cyrus bouncing around on his and with the children it's yeah there we go their movement skill even for toddlers hers is on two already now just from using these trampolines so that is the first mod i wanted to show you guys today it's very very cute and has a full custom animation there's also a toddler play tunnel and makeup kit i'm working my way up to the coolest mod by the way so we've got a toddler play tunnel and makeup kit as well also comes with a bunch of translations too um and let's start with the play tunnel because the makeup kit has a lot of additional features which i want to show you guys so here is the little play tunnel let's go ahead and pop these just behind i'll give them one each again there's a little extra function in this that i think is really cute that i'm looking forward to showing you guys these are the colors it comes in look it's got like little giraffes on it little rainbows that's so cute <gasps> there's a duck one a flamingo one a dino one okay these are adorable <gasps> bees 
I'll match it to the kids like little like their vibes you know because I feel like she's like the pink flowers and he's like the little umbrellas in the rain so let's do that and the kids can go ahead and play in these obviously because they're like a kid's toy and again I think this comes with a whole set of custom animations so let's give it a go yep kneeling down and doing, I want to get to the other side. There we go. Doing a little crawl the whole way through. This is so cute. We literally have these in the garden for like the dogs and cats. <laughs> but they're for toddlers in this, I promise. So once they've been playing in these a while, getting used to, again, improving their movement skill, improving their fun as well. Yeah, his movement is glowing green. His movement's literally improving as we speak. Also, look, can you see that it like moves as they go through? Like as they lean on bits of the mat, it like, it, it moves. And look, I made it to the other side of the tunnel. And after a bunch of playing in the tunnel, I'm sure they'll be getting quite sleepy. So the little hidden extra function of these tunnels is they can also go ahead and have a little nap in there too. So little backwards crawl into their tunnel when they're feeling a little bit sleepy. After all that playing, because like... This is the thing with toddlers. This, you know, there's some stuff they can do. There's some games, but I find that my toddlers spend their whole time with just like playing in the dollhouse or playing with the odd toy. Whereas it's nice to have like, I'm trying to get a good view of her. It's nice to have some additional things, especially when they have like dual purpose, like these where they can have a little nap in there as well. And just seeing them nap inside the tunnels, it's so freaking cute. I love this. I feel like my toddler gameplay is gonna be way more fun now. Okay, so these guys are waking up, which means they're toddlers. If you don't keep them entertained, they're like, they're like puppies. If you don't keep them entertained, they're gonna start causing mayhem. So let's go ahead and find another new toy for them to play with and this one i'm really excited about this is the toddler makeup kit so what is fun about this is this is interactive both for toddlers but also for their parents too here is the little makeup kit you have a little a little lipstick some brushes a little is it like a little hair dryer and then some palettes and stuff as well also a cute little case that it all comes in and again let's just check out the little color palettes so we've got i want to get like closer it's like what is that like a little fox oh there's a little fox one and a little ducky swan a little dino one what is that it's a frog a frog one and all the accessories are changing color too. They're just really well-made bits of CC, aren't they? And then a little butterfly one. Okay, I'm gonna give her the unicorn one and I'm gonna give him the frog one. There we go. So this is fun for solo play. So they can give themselves a little makeover with the makeup and just oh, happy. Cyrus feels happy from taking a nap in her own little space. Oh my gosh, he won't stop playing in the tunnel. He's loving the tunnel too much. I found this with the trampoline as well. Sometimes I'm having to tell them like a few times to like complete the interaction. I have to like line it up. But I have a lot of mods in my game. So I don't want to immediately say that this is the fault of the mod. It could just be that my game is dying because it is. Okay, and she's gone ahead and sat down with a makeup kit. She's popping on a little bit of lipstick. She's giving things to go. We've got, <laughs> we've got some blush going on there as well. I'm always like when it comes to toddlers and makeup, I'm like, hmm. But it's not like, you know, the CC horrors of your nightmares where these really alpha sims have loads of makeup on. It's more just like nonsense kids playing with makeup, which I think is fine. I think that's cute. Especially, you know, kids learn by watching what's going on around them. If they see like mom putting makeup on, then they're probably going to want to play with it themselves. So she's got the little makeup artist. Molly had a great time playing with makeup. She loves doing things to imitate the adults in her life, especially things that help make a mess in the process. I wonder if she can apply more. And Cyrus is having a go as well. I want to see if it does the exact same makeup each time or if it kind of like there's a few different variations. Because she got the eye maker, which seems more like she's imitating like the other parent, right? <gasps> and he got the little candy floss makeup. So he looks more like he's imitated the uh, the other parent. That's so cute. <gasps> oh, oh, and okay. We definitely have a few different variations because she's now... <laughs> <laughs> got a little mustache and also some blue eye makeup very cute you guys look wonderful but how about we go ahead and give some makeovers to adults and oh he's doing it again he just keeps playing what look have you gone for this time okay that suits your vibe a lot more that's more what i was expecting you look wonderful why don't you go ahead and give a makeover to this carly okay so she's asking if she can do the makeover she's like yeah sure let's see what you can do okay and they're sitting down to give the makeover a go so oh again it's such like nice animations like, how cute is that? She's, like, leaning in. I would be very nervous based on her current, like, looks and trends. Oh, and she's doing the nails as well. Okay, she... 
<laughs> She's put some nail varnish on too. Let's have a look at the final look. Oh my gosh. We've got a unibrow and we've, I mean, the cheeks and lips, the color at least is, is great. Okay, she's immediately running inside. What you have to go do? Oh, eat some yogurt. Wait, I want to see your nails as well because I think we applied nail polish to you. So yeah, okay. It's kind of ruined her manicure a little bit as well. And she has the oh, ridiculous makeup. Carly is wearing makeup put on by a toddler. The toddler had fun and is proud of their work, but Carly better hurry and take it off before anyone sees her with this ridiculous look. It's time for a shower. So I want to see how the other adults will react when they see her with her toddler applied makeup. So is she going to have like a reaction at all? No, not, not weirded out by the... No, you're kind of shocked. But she's not. <laughs> okay, I feel like it's your turn to get some makeup on. Oh, and the kids are back outside playing in the tunnel. Okay, they really love the tunnel. Yeah, I can't get this sim to accept it. Like, he'll ask and she nods her head and says, yeah. But then they never progress to actually doing it. I'm not sure why. But it doesn't seem to always work for me, which is a little bit frustrating. <gasps> oh, I got it working. The CC clothes she was wearing were making the game think she's naked. How do I fix? that because i've had this issue a few times now i don't know if i need to run like some kind of cc cleaner but there we go now we're getting a makeover it's cute it's like she's changed into like you know clothes that she knows won't get ruined and like taking her makeup off so that she can get like the makeover from her toddler i love this i love that it's skill oh my gosh okay the lipsticks kept mostly inside the lines we've got a lot of scribbles and yeah the fingers ain't looking too hot either and she's got the embarrassed mood look from the ridiculous makeup but i love that it's like building a skill but also interaction with the parents because otherwise you just end up feeling like you make your kid like do the same like task over and over again just to up their skills but there's not really that much interaction is there not like much interaction with the adults in their life and does she have to wash her makeup off in the shower how do i get her to take it off now so the makeup lasts five hours for the face makeup and 17 hours for the painted nails but you can go ahead and clean your face and it will remove the makeup in case you need to head to work or anything so there we go see they're already bonding more over their little makeup sets okay it's 7 p.m i'm gonna give you guys one last thing to play with today actually in fact with it being nighttime this is a really good opportunity to show the really cool bit of cc for you guys so we've seen the play tunnel and the makeup kit but this is like a whole pack called the playful toddler pack as well that i wanted to show to you guys so this comes with a crib so when you have babies and sims obviously they're in the bassinet i have a cc crib that i use a lot as well but what tends to happen is when you become a toddler you're just instantly in the big bed but for a lot of babies in real life you don't immediately go from a crib to a big bed there's like an in-between stage where as a toddler you're still in a crib so this is like a nice little in-between sort of once you've aged up from being a baby you can still be in a crib for a little while and the crib has more functionality so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the crib and show you guys but basically your adult sims and teen sims will be able to do a bunch of interactions with the children whilst they're in the crib and it's also like a safe place to put your little baby if you need to go and cook and that kind of thing so here is the toddler crib crib i'm gonna put one in each of the mum's rooms it can only be accessed from the left side so i need to make sure i'm putting it the right direction okay so the pillow has to be on the left right so pillow on the left side boom uh let's go ahead and pop one in this room too again it comes in a bunch of swatches we've got a peach swatch oh they could be strawberries but they look like little peaches to me we've got rainbows and clouds we've got little deers and whales and stars and little animals we've got again some more animals nautical theme oh little putty cats and bun buns and llamas obviously and some more llamas okay i'm gonna go for Let's go for the llamas because I like the color on the edges here for um, Candy Floss Baby. And for little Cyrus, let's go ahead and go for... Let's go for some stars. Gonna go ahead and grab a little chair so I can pop it next to the crib. Now with cribs in The Sims, you'd probably only ever use a bassinet. I'll show you the crib I usually use. So this one I use all the time. It's only for babies. It's called the DCS4 Miracle Crib. And I just think it's a really nice crib. I kind of like... I don't know, the bassinet feels kind of older. It's more like a Moses basket type thing. I like using this for babies because you can see them a little bit more and I just think it's more aesthetic. But obviously you can only use it on babies. You can only like do the baby interactions. You can't use it for toddlers whatsoever. Whereas this one is toddler friendly. I'm gonna put a chair next to the side of the crib, which you'll see why in a moment. And then you can treat this crib 
just like it is a bed. So let's go ahead and put Molly in this crib. Carly still got her makeup on. <laughs> She's feeling super embarrassed about her. Why don't you go ahead and put Cyrus in this one? Cyrus has got blonde hair now. Interesting. And from what I understand, this also comes with an animation where the side panel is going to drop down. So I really want to see this in action. So here's a little crib. Is it going to drop down? Okay, we've got her changed. And oh, the mum actually puts it down. No freaking way. Oh, that's so cool. She actually goes ahead and pulls the, the little panel down herself. So the toddler's just like hanging out in the crib now. And whilst they're in there, you can like bring food over to them. You can lock the crib it's like to keep the child safe and inside. But if I go ahead and like cook some dindons. Whilst I'm cooking, Cyrus is getting a bit frustrated about being trapped in the crib. He went and put his hands on the side and... You know, it's good to keep them safe, but I guess you don't want to just keep them locked in there forever. And look, she's on the side. She wants to get out. Oh my gosh, look at the animation. She's just on a phone completely ignoring her. But look, the, the side of the crib rocks when they do that. <gasps> Whoa, this is so cool. Let me see if I can catch her doing it again because the, the panel rocks back and forth. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. She wants... Oh my gosh. She wants out. It's good to keep them in, but you don't want to just leave them in there. I want to go ahead and bring them some foodies. Okay, so we're having not a good time in the crib, but look at this. Now you got some dindin, so set, settle down. Stop shaking your crib. I don't think you'd ever feed a child in a crib, would you? Oh, she can't put it in. Oh, you have to drag the food into their inventory. Also, they can play with their toys and the bunny tablet while they're in there. So if I pop this into her inventory now and I pop this one into Cyrus's, then they can eat their dindins in there. There we go. Okay, now we're eating in the crib. I love this little crib. I like it because then it kind of feels like, you know, maybe when they've got their movement skill high enough, then they can transition to like a big bed, like a toddler's bed, like a, a grown up kid's bed. But in the meantime, it makes more sense to be in here. And what's also nice is if you put the little chair at the side like this, you can read them to sleep just like it's like, you know, a normal bed. Oh, she's going to sit on the bed and do it. But yeah, you can still do a read to sleep. You can still get all the functionality of a regular bed. But it's just like a little bit more age appropriate with some extra little animations in there. Look at his little hand being up as well. That's so cute. Listening to his little story with his freshly bleached hair. There we go. Both toddlers are being read to sleep. And can I still like, um, like tuck them in when they're in there? I don't think I can tuck in. No, I can wake up but I can't tuck in. Oh, well, it's still very, very cute. Okay, I'm gonna send you to sleep. We've got a few more toys to finish off tomorrow and we won't be allowing Vlad inside. Okay, so we're gonna let the little babies out of their cribs because we've got a few, uh, oh, you've got matching pajamas on. They've got a few more final, very cool toys to show you guys. And one of them, I actually adored myself growing up. So I'm really looking forward to playing with it. We'll go outside again, cause it's still a nice day. Uh, let me show you guys the final few toys. So we have Play-Doh, pop open a can of creativity and a handful of squishy, colorful Play-Doh. Squish it, stamp it, roll it, shape it. The open-ended fun is up to the imagination. So there we go. We've got our little can of Play-Doh available in pink. Oh, can you guys see it? Pink, blue, green, orange, white, blue, uh, black, and purple. So let's go for, let's go green with this Play-Doh. We also have... The toddler car track. So a toy car that offers endless storytelling and vehicle action play. Kids can take their car all the way down the top and then race through the multi-level car track and experiment with multiple play modes for continuous thrills. So this improves their imagination skill as well. Oh, it's quite big. Okay. Oh, it's got like little trees. It's got a little aeroplane, like some little rocks and a blocked road. And they have like a little car toy anyway. So it's nice to give it like a bigger... It's almost like a little kid scale electric, isn't it? And then this is the Play-Doh. And then my favorite of all, the PS dot La Resistance is this kid's food cart. So toddler food cart. Pretend food truck for toddler friendly learning fun. This food truck will be serving up hours of role play at the hands and hands on activities. Be prepared to be in awe as you watch your little entrepreneurs drive, greet customers and work the register. So it's kind of like a kind of like career play. And what I really like about it is I actually have from here it is rsvn i have the little kids toy chef kitchen but this is more for um no this is for toddlers and for children but it'd be nice if maybe the kids started with this one and then as they got older you could get them that one as they were they were kids so they kind of go really nicely together it has a very cute design it looks like a little food truck with a little steering wheel and the little toy register little menus and little like you know 
little play accessories and then i think they serve the food out the front here it even has a little recycling we're raising little eco-conscious toddlers which i love so let's have a look at the swatches this comes in oh very cute oh look at the little pink one. Oh, i love it Okay, let's go. I love the pink one because, like, it has like a, a little bear. They all have the little bear, but it's very cute. I love it. And also, it has their ABCs at the front, too. And while the parents are getting ready, the kids can go ahead and start entertaining themselves. So, I'm going to have Molly give the Play Doh a go. She's going to go ahead with her first mold. And oh, look, it's like a little rainbow one once they start playing with it. And from what I understand, they can make like a bunch of different designs. And then when they finish, they like mash it back up if they want to. And then they can have a go at making something new and her little imagination skill is going up and then with cyrus i'm gonna get him to go ahead and play with cars okay so here is this little car <laughs> it makes like the little noises as he's playing with it little beeps and stuff will he actually put it on the track or is it more they just play around it i don't know if he's actually gonna put it on the truck but it's still oh someone's jealous it's still pretty cute and at least they've got like a little car station to play with i mean if he was like pushing it around i think that would be extra cool but he's building his imagination skill pretending that he's on the track you know meanwhile molly has the wonder of play-doh molly was working hard with her little hands and is very proud of her creation she's made like a little snowman with hers which is so cute she can go ahead and squish it though remold it and try and make something else that's kind of the joy of play-doh right it's kind of sad to see your creations get all mushed up but at least she can keep playing and honestly their imagination after playing with all of these toys non-stop for two days is level five <laughs> they've been doing an awful lot so that's very cute oh and what have we made this time what what is this it's like a big egg oh it's a foster's home for imaginary friends creation nice wonderful okay why don't we go ahead and try out the food truck so I'm going to get her to play with the food truck. And then I want to see if two toddlers can play with it at the same time or if it's like a solo toddler experience. But okay, she's in the truck. She's in the car. Oh, okay. Okay, we're making a little a little teeny tiny burger. Is that the burger from the pets? Is it like the pet squeegee? I feel like it is. We're also doing some driving. Doing a little drive to our destination where we're going to sell our burgers. Oh my gosh, look at them under there as well. Cute. And what are we making now? Oh, we're still making the burger. Oh, the burger's ready. We got a ding. We got a little ding. Okay. Oh, he can't. Why don't you go order a hamburger? That's what she's making. Okay, I'm trying to get him to do the hamburger. I'm having a bit of trouble though. I don't know if maybe he's just shy. But he keeps just like approaching and then being like, hmm. He kind of loses the urge to do it, you know? But if I try and get the adults to do it, the adults can pick who they want to order from. So you can like click on this and choose which child you want to order from. But she's going to go ahead and order a little hamburger from the little food truck. Again, I love this because I feel like so much toddler play, you're meant to like do it as the, the parent. You're meant to be there and get involved. And there you go. Look at that. You've got a very happy looking burger there. Little claps for her. Well done. Well done. Are you going to... Oh, can I take that? I can take this. Okay, there we go. I have my burger junior. Nice. And I can also get Cyrus to have a little play in there as well. <laughs> he's making a very violent very oh no that now he's being gentle he was making a violent little donut for me there oh there we go and one donut ready to go here's your drink here's your donut very cute and what's cute is after they've served them they can play with them so look she's playing with the little donut that she just served there's not much the adults can do to interact with them they're basically kids toys so i can grab his little pizza or I can get him to grab it. He's feeling a bit... He's too warm, bless him. Like, he can show his mum the cool pizza that he made. And then he can go ahead and play with it too. <laughs> I love the little faces on them. They're so adorable. I love that. Oh, they made the car go down. I definitely just saw the car go down. Look, it's going down. Oh my gosh, it actually goes down. No freaking way. I'm so glad I caught that. And they can play with the car together. They can do like, it's like the dollhouse. You know where two kids can play together? Two kids can play with their cars together too. <gasps> so look, they both have their own cars. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm very, very happy with these. There's so many new things now. And I don't know. I just, look at the cars. 
pot are going around. I feel like there's so much more interaction you can do with their toddlers. And I love that there's a bunch of interactions you can do with parents and toddlers, with the uh, makeup kits, and with the little food truck as well. So hopefully you guys think that these are as neat as I am. I don't know. I'm always looking for ways to make the play of Sims less monotonous. Because, you know, once you've done it, one thing in Sims, you're kind of then just doing the same thing over and over again in a way. And I feel like more stuff for toddlers and definitely more interactive stuff for toddlers means you're building those skills without feeling like you have to send them to do the exact same things each time. And I'm really, really happy with all of the toys. I also love the crib because I feel like it adds like a little bit of realism of, yeah, my child might not be a three-year-old baby anymore, but it still probably needs to be in the crib if that's how you've chosen to do it. And I love that everything is so, it moves and there's animations and stuff. It's just honestly really, really well made CC, which we could have guessed because this is the same creator who made the amazing childbirth mod, which I'm really enjoying as well. So I will go ahead and link all of these in the description below. If you guys have a favorite, let me know if you've played with any of these or you've got them in your game. Please go ahead and let me know. A big thank you um, to the wonderful Peachy who brought these to my attention. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.